Hi, my name is Bjorn Landwer and this is Bev Live. It is Friday, March the 10th, 2023, and we have an exciting show ahead. Uh, but first of all, I want to remind everybody that we now have free shipping for three bottles, uh, pretty much nationwide, well, almost. We are now in a little over um, 30 states and um, yeah, exciting times. Um, you get free shipping if you buy three bottles or more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whatever. Fifty bottles, whatever you want. Free shipping as long as you buy more than um, three bottles. Um, we got some exciting deals um, on 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 Bev Life right now. So check it out. Um, check out the selection. Buy you know, one of each. Buy three of the same kind. Whatever you like, buy some, one expensive one, one less expensive one, but that's something really expensive. Just more, um, more dollars, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so very exciting times here um, here at Bev Live. Um, we also have, um, like we talked about last week, we have our uh, Bev bot up and running. Um, we are still training it, so the ants are really, really good, but could be better. So we're, we're, we're working on, on improvements there. Um, check it out sometime. Just ask any kind of wine question and see what you get back. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I mean, you can ask things, um, you know, ask a normal wine question and then you say, answer it uh, as if and then enter a person were to answer it. And you will get kind of like different results <laughs> of, um, of that, that, um, that, that question. So it's pretty cool. Just play with it. Um, so over the last few weeks, months, we talked about different uh, wines, different varietals, all kinds of different topics. Um, starting today, we're going to do a few other things. Um, in addition to uh, all of that, um, we're going to offer the opportunity to our viewers, you, to ask questions. Um, you know, so you can ask questions to the Bevbot. You can ask questions to me that will be covered here. And, um, you know, hopefully the answer will be somewhat similar. Um, so um, today we're going to talk about um, three different topics um, that a lot of people have questions about, which are um, decanting, should I decant, should I not decant, what is decanting, what does it do? Wine glasses. Why are there so many different ones? Who knows? Uh, and wine um, temperature. Um, so what's the perfect temperature to drink a red wine? What's the perfect temperature to drink a white wine, rosé, sparkling, what type of wine? is suited for which class, what should I do? Um, so on the first one, um, wine decanting. So wine decanting is basically um, the, the where, where you take um, the wine bottle and you pour it into a, a bigger bigger vessel. Um, so what does that do? For one, you um, if you have a wine that's unfiltered, where you have like a little sediment um, in the bottle, it will get rid of those. So you just pour it carefully in your decanter, um, in your bigger vessel and then kind of like stop when there's just a little bit left. So to leave that sediment um, in the bottle, um, which can be kind of bitter. And so you want to keep that up. So that's one thing um, that the candy can do. If your wine has some sediment, you leave those in the bottle and go, and it doesn't make it into the decanter. Um, so decanting is also um, used or mainly used because it, it opens up the wine, especially with red wines where um, you expose the um, wine with more um, oxygen and you basically let it, let, let it breathe. What, what that does is it kind of um, softens up the tannins um, and gives the wine the opportunity to show, show, it, show its fruit. Um, so in, I guess you could say it, it enhances the wine. Um, I, um, I highly recommend that for, um, for some special bottles and just you know, play with it sometime. Like have, like they can have the bottle and have the other day. I just kind of, kind of compare and, um, and, and, and see what it does. Um, people should be decanting more. That's good. Um, so the other thing that I mentioned, we should talk, what is, I want to talk to today about is wine glasses. Why are there so many? I mean, there's like a wine glass for, for, for pretty much every wine. And why do they all look so different? And, why do some wines have a stem and one some don't? So let's start with that. Um, that actually really doesn't have too much of an impact on 
the um, way you are going to appreciate the wine. The only difference it really does make is that you know your hands kind of warm, and so when you when you touch the glass, it warms it warms up um, the glass, which then warms up what's inside. If you use the stem, that does not happen. So that's kind of the difference there. But other than that, that's it. Really doesn't matter if you have a wine with a stem or one without. And um, you know some wine glasses um, are you know, a little bit wider, um, and some are a little bit um well how could you call them like just just a um, little little smaller um and and everything and everything kind of in, in in between so um why do people do that why do the glass manufacturers make make um the wine glasses like that well depending on the shape of the um of the glass it impacts aromas it impacts the temperature sometimes with certain glasses it will stay cooler actually it impacts how you perceive acidity, texture, alcohol. So basically, the wine manufacturers looked at the different wines and found a way to accentuate its, its features. And um, therefore, you have um, different wine glasses. Now, should everybody have a different wine glass for everything? Probably not. Um, you know, do maybe think about they'll have one for red and one for white. Um, you, know, you have a Cabernet Sauvignon glass, pretty standard, and then you have a glass for Chardonnay or something. So maybe two, but other than that, you should, you, you should be okay. Uh, another question that, that we get a lot is um, wine temperature. And white wine should really be served at somewhere between 45 to 50, uh, like a bigger Chardonnay, maybe like if the, let's take, if the wine gets a little bigger, maybe 55. And then red wine, you start kind of off at like 60, go to 65. Um, and those are like pretty, pretty good um, temperatures to, to, to enjoy those wines. So why um, do people drink the red wine at room temperature? And why is that a good thing? And where does the term room temperature come from? So room temperature is a term that was actually invented invented um, in, in, in Europe a long time ago. And room temperature was not like a cozy 70 something degrees like it is like it is here. Room temperature was like, you know, 60. And so the, the, but the, the, so as the house got warmer, the term room temperature really didn't change much. And people talk about like, you know, I want to have my wine at room temperature. But room temperature is not like 60 degrees like it was in France, I don't know, a long time ago. It's like 75 or 78, way too warm for your red wine and to be enjoyed. Um, white wine, people just take out of the fridge. And what's the temperature on your fridge? You may want to check sometime and see what temperature your fridge has. Probably like 34, maybe. Um, and that's just way too cold. So, you know, when you take out your, 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 your wine out of the fridge and start, start drinking um, that wine right away and don't let it warm up, that's way too cold. You're going to miss out a lot. So what I always tell people is white wine, take out the fridge for and wait 10 minutes. It's going to warm up to the temperature where you need to be. Red wine, put in the fridge for 10 minutes and then take it out. You do often want to have that a little bit of a chill, actually. Um, with, uh, with 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 red wine, I'm not sure, but I mean at 60 degrees, it's definitely not warm. Um, so yeah, room temperature is not room temperature 75 degrees. Keep that in mind. All right, so those three topics um, were the topics of the day: wine decanting, wine glasses, and um, temperature. So if you have any questions um, that you need answers to, um, send us an email. Um, talk to the bath board, um, ask any kinds of questions, um, send them to us, whatever you prefer, do it both ways, see if the answer is different. Uh, that would be fun. Um, and just let us know. So with that said, um, yeah, send us, send us your questions and we'll talk soon. Enjoy the weekend.